This ear flap pack um, has 98 stitches, but it's and it starts like the plain hem hat that we need already. So we're going to cast on these 98 stitches. I've already brought out my needles in a one by one needle arrangement because I'm going to be using the easy hat from Network. And I've set my tension to five. I'm going to five for the for the hem, and I'm going to knit one more across and hang my comb. Then I'm going to push forward to be position the rest of the needles. These ones I have back at a position. I'll push them forward to the position and knit one row. Okay. Now I'm going to knit half of my hem, just as if I was going to make a folded hem. My folded hem is 12 rows deep and ordinarily I would need 24 rows. So I would need 12 rows and then another 12 rows, right? To create a folded hem. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to need 12 rows of the 24 rows first. So let's do that. How my work will be divided according to the pattern that we have so i'm going to start with the this section this 24 stitch section so what that means is that i'm going to put this part of my work on hold i'm going to need to cut my yarn because my yarn is currently attached to this end and knit this section why i'm doing it this way is because i want um, the join for my hat to be in the back, not at the edge of my ear flap. I could have shifted my ear flap here. I want the join to be in the back of my hat, not at the side where my ear flap will be. So I'm going to set these stitches to holding position and only have these 24 stitches out at in working position and B position, okay? So, the center of my work is in the middle of these 28 stitches. So I've got 14 stitches this way. And from that 14th, 15th needle to the 39th needle will be in working position. And the rest of my needles will be out to holding position. So, my machine will come over here. This is the center, first one to the right in the center. So from this one down to the 14th one, this is 11, 12, 13, 14. All of this will be out to hold. One, two, three, four. Yes, all of this needles this way will be out to hold in position. Right. 
so i have out to e position now to holding position all the stitches to the left of this ear flap that i'm about to make so that's 28 stitches 24 and 11 stitches i brought them all out to e position and because I want just 24 stitches here and 11 stitches on the side should be put at holding position. I'm going to come over here and bring out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I've got the stitches I'm going to be working with right here. And I'm going to cut my yarn here because I need to knit just these needles. And I don't want to carry the yarn this way, it's going to leave a loop. So I'm going to come to my carriage and set my carriage to hold. Okay, and now I'm going to knit one row across these that I have in working position. So that's what it looks like. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be bringing forward to holding position one stitch on the carriage side. So I'll bring forward this one to hold and knit one row and bring forward this one. Make sure it knits. Okay, I'm bringing the stitch forward to and knit a row back. And then bring forward this one to hold and knit. And bring forward this one to hold and knit. And you may want to put a weight section so that you don't have any trouble with your stitches not knitting okay and I'm going to bring this one forward to hold three stitches left three or four stitches left I want to move my weight up so that it will continue to be effective I've got four stitches left in work. I think I'll just continue and make it just two stitches. And it's right. And now I'm going to start pushing back to B position on the carriage side. And these stitches I push for. So I'm pushing this back. And I'm pushing this back. But this last one didn't need properly. So I'm going to manually that. which I need to pick up right here and I need 
to make this also in. Okay. And we need a bit more weight over there to prevent it from dropping. Okay, now let's push this back. you're bearing, bringing your needles back you have the 24 stitches you start with and um, what that means is you're bringing it back until you get to stitch number 15 over here And because I would like to um, knit over to this side where I'm going to work another ear flap, I'm working the next ear flap over this way on the left. So that's from the 15th needle because if the center is here and I've got 14 stitches this way and 14 this way. So from the 15th needle to the left. So I'm going to push back. So that I don't need to cut my yarn. I'm going to push back all of these needles so that they will knit up until the 15th needle. Okay, and then move my carriage across. Alright, and we have finished one ear flap. yourself so this hole here can be closed with this tail so this is the ear flap you need to push it um, in or out I don't know which one to say but push it so that it's going the wrong side is going in like this yeah okay. so now we're ready to work the other side the other ear flap and the other ear flap will be worked over 24 stitches here. So I'm going to push back to B position, 24 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then the rest of the needles will come forward to B position. to bring my carriage um, sorry before I do that my yarn is ending on this side and my carriage is over here to the left so I need to bring my carriage this way 
and that means i need to bring all of this back to e so my carriage can come forward but i can take note of where my stitches start they start from middle number 15 and end at middle number 36 7 8 so i'm pushing them back to e so that i can bring my carriage back to e. and then i'm going to bring them back to b position And now we're going to repeat the process over here. So I'm going to make one row first. So I've got my needles in B position. And then I'm going to start bringing forward to A position. One stitch on the carriage side. So I'm bringing this forward now. And then this. carriage side still to be positioned but then move my comb up a little so it needs without dropping stitches here okay so it didn't need this one can you see so i need to knit those in manually and then push this back So I need to really apply more pressure there so that it needs these stitches. Okay, so let me get my weight as close to them as I can and pull the stitch back and pull on my weight over here. Okay, and pull this back. So yeah, this time it knit. Okay, and pull this back. And then pull this back. And then this. 
at the end this will be the last stitch on this side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i should have put these back to um to be positioned before i get to the last row I'm going to manually have to make those do it. And in order for me not to have a hole, you can see I'm going to have a hole if I just push them back. I'm going to pick up this loop here and put it on this needle to close that. And then manually make these. I made the next row across. I'm going to take this needle back just to see if I've got a hole there, which it does look like I might have. And I'm going to take this loop and put it on that stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to come to my carriage and cancel my hold. So now it's going to need all my stitches, regardless of if they are at B or at E position. And I'm going to cross my work. So I finished the ear flap now. And we're ready to knit the other half of my hem. Remember, my hem is 12 rows. Uh, 12 rows long so I need 12 rows already here then I've knit my flap and now I'm going to knit the other 12 rows of my hem Start from the right and close up my hem.
fuller picture. So here's one flap and here's the other flap. And my hem is hung. And I can adjust my tension to tension six, which is the tension for the body. And set my row counter to zero and proceed to knit to row 61. of yarn at row 47 so I need to bring a fresh ball of yarn so I'm at row 61 and I'm going to decrease my stitches on top for the next two rows so that when I gather the top of my hat it's not going to be too bulky so I start at one edge and transfer every other needle to the one beside it like this so i'm going to continue like this till the end of my work and come back and show you the next steps we will push back all the empty to a position and push forward all the needles with stitches to new position and adjust the tension on the carriage two numbers down so right now i'm knitting at six so i'm going to adjust it to tension four okay and then knit one row across my stitches and then I'm going to repeat the decrease again. So I'm going to come here and transfer one needle from the middle to the one beside it and come over to the next and repeat and repeat all across my work. Okay. And once I'm done, I'll come back and show you the next steps. So I've completed the transfer and I'm going to push back to, to A, all the empty needles and push forward to E, the needles that have stitches on them. So be very careful when you're doing this because you could easily drop a stitch. So use your hands to your fingers to guide the stitches back along the needles so you do not drop any stitches after all your hard work okay Close to the end now we're going to knit one row across our work but first we're going to reduce the tension down almost to two and I'll knit one row across gently 
need to wonder of course I'm going to hold my fabric down a little bit and there we have it we have completed 63 rows of knitting and so I'm going to take my yarn and pull it down from underneath my carriage and then cut it once I've got a good enough length to go through because I'm going to gather the stitches here so I'm going to cut my yarn move my carriage out of the way then pull forward to E position these stitches Pull them forward. Hold the stitches down with your fingers so you don't lose them as you push the needles out. And I'm going to take a transfer tool, or if you've got a yarn needle, that's good too. So transfer tool. And I'm going to take the end of yarn and pass it through my tool and then come over here where my tail is attached to my work and start to gather the top of my heart. one okay so once you've got that pull all your stitches through and gather the top and then sew into the side you started from the first stitch around again and tie off my so tie up the top of your hat you could go and really sew the top close if you want So this is what it looks like on the inside on top and this is what it looks like on the outside and I push my stitches back so I can lay the machine for you to look at it this is what the body looks like and here is our ear flap hat so here's our ear flap and this is the reason why I had 28 stitches in front because the front of the head is slightly wider than the back. So that's why I had 28 stitches in front and 22 stitches in the back. 
here's the hat laid flat so what's left now is for us to attach cords because typically the flaps have cords attached to them and to sew the back of the hat closed so the next video is going to show how to knit a cord on your hat